Hey guys, uh, I know I haven't done a video in a while, um, but I got a request today to do an update. Um, it's been nine months now, um, and dun, 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 here it is, the JM4 Tactical, still going strong. Um, it, it, I mean, it is fit to this gun like perfectly like a glove literally and uh and then you can see a little bit of wear where is it where is it yeah right here by the trigger guard but i mean there's nothing no chance of anything wearing through that's just from my my pants it's just i think it's like a denim stain but i mean nine months later stitching is still all good like everything i still love this thing and still smells beautiful um and yeah i upgraded the the grips these are altamont wood grips these are the oversized grips i had their uh their boot grip which i like it um it it, it is more concealable you can put this thing in your pocket but um with the uh what do they call that the the space from the palm palm of my hand to my trigger finger it was too close and i was actually pulling my shots uh right so i got these and it corrected it and they're beautiful these are the walnut they have walnut, like rosewood, and silver black. Um, I had the silver black boot, uh, the boot grips. Um, they were pretty cool. I, I actually like them, that color, but this is just so much more pretty. But anyway, um, this is what it looks like, the whole thing. So, yeah. Um, yep still still going strong that magnet you can see all the little dings and stuff because this is what's outside of your pants anyway um and i do notice that <laughs> like when i put my keys in my pocket or something in, in my jacket pocket um they'll grab that magnet so keep that in mind um like i don't think anybody notices but I'll forget and I'll put my keys in my pocket or something and I'm like, what's grabbing my pocket? I'm like, oh yeah, it's this thing. So, uh, but yeah, so here's the update and yeah, it, I still love this, uh, holster and I'm sure my wife is happy about that because, um, she doesn't understand, uh, the importance of having a good holster. Um, and there's a lot that goes into that uh, retention, comfort, and um, just fit and finish and everything. Um, first of all, concealment is the main thing. Um, and this does the job. Uh, number two, comfort. And a lot of people will tell you, well, carrying a gun is not supposed to be comfortable. Yes, it is. Um, cause if it's not comfortable, you're not going to carry it. And I, I know that from experience, it, it has to be comfortable no matter what you think. Um, so this also checks that box. Um, so, and fit and finish, I mean, nine months later and it's still going strong. Oh yeah. That's why I took it out. I was going to show you even with, without any firearm in there I mean you can see it's it's leather and it forms to whatever you put in it so yeah anyway so there's your uh, your update so thank you for watching and commenting and requesting the update um, but yeah I absolutely am happy with it
Um, if there was something I could change, it would be to maybe minimize this, how, how big that is. Um, like, not that it's a problem, but, uh, I mean, it does take up a reasonable amount of space on your belt. Um, but sometimes I just wish that were like thinner. I don't know. Per that's just a personal thing. Um, but yeah, you can hear that's the magnet grabbing onto it. So yeah, easy in and out. Um, so, okay. You can tell I'm, I'm still happy with it. I, I like this thing. No complaints. Um, just things to be aware of. It is a powerful magnet, so it's going to grab metal. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, like I said, most comfortable holster I've ever worn. Um, I do carry appendix and, um, oh, that's one thing that, so with this firearm, it's not an issue. Um, and I haven't used this holster with other firearms, but, um, I had a holster. It was a, uh, um, wow. See, I, I, I tend to do this a lot. I forget words. Uh, not Phobos, but, uh, anyway, like Kydex, I had a Kydex holster and it had that little claw on there that would push the, the butt of the gun in. Um, I don't see really how they could do that with this, with this leather, but for maybe like a bigger firearm, firearm, that would be something to maybe try to, um, put in there. I don't, I don't even know how that would work with it being leather, but like I said, with, with this, it doesn't really matter because there's, it d just doesn't matter, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, what else can I say about this thing? It's, I still love it. I like, like leather. I like wood. I like bone. Like, I don't think there are any, there's bone like inlays for 1911s and stuff, but yeah, I just like natural things. And I mean, leather is as comfortable as it gets. Um, yeah, and it's, it's tough. And you can see how that's gone over and it actually kind of covers this, the hammer, because some people will complain about the hammer, like digging into them or whatever, which whatever, but this fixes that problem too. It conforms to, you know, your, your stomach being right there and it just goes right over it. Um, so yeah. There's your update. <laughs> Thanks.